Coach of the Year Award Program, fier partenaire des prix de l'entraîneur de l'année USPAL, Vera Burn, medical supply partner of Varsity Athletics since 1979, partenaire du sport universitaire depuis 1979, Vera, an exclusive supplier of USports championship rings, le fournisseur exclusif des bagues du championnat USPAL, by Bell, presenting partner of this USports championship, fier partenaire de ce championnat USPAL, and by Protocase, proud title partner of the 2023 U-Sports Men's Soccer Championship. Et par Protocase, fier partenaire en titre du championnat de soccer masculin U-Sport de 2023. At the north end of Sydney, much like the teams who are competing this evening, the Army Reserves are your team of citizen soldiers who are the part-time component of the Canadian Army. They train in various occupations and challenging situations while receiving competitive wages and exciting career opportunities. And hey, some of them are students and staff here at CBU. Your local reservists want to extend their thanks and gratitude for the support they've received from the communities of Cape Breton. Please give a big round of applause for these proud soldiers. That's here for your hometown CBU Capers! Numéro 1, number 1, Tristan Crompton. Numéro 2, number 2, Babacar Ndie. Numéro 3, number 3, Amin Zouir. Numéro 4, number 4, Thomas Sir. Numéro 5, number 5, Francis Assuit. Numéro 6, number 6, Hugo Raposo. Numéro 7, number 7, Étienne Bertrand. Number 8, numéro 8, Jacob Boisvert. Excusez-moi. <laughs> um, numéro 
set, Etienne Bertrand. Numéro 11, number 11, Samuel Laplante. Numéro 9, number 9, Vincent Carry. I can't go by that. Numéro 18, number 18, Nicolas Desjardins. Numéro 17, number 17, Madi Abassi. Number 20, numéro 20, Simeon Lalande. Head coach, entraîneur en chef, Shani Black. Now coming our CBU players onto the field are players from our U13 and U15 boys Cape Breton SC Academy squads for the 23-24 season. Please give them a nice, generous, big welcome. And you're starting a lineup for Cape Breton University Capers. Number one, Daniel Clark. Number 18, Rain Lynn. Number four, Ben Fortune. Number 24, Andre Beecher. Number 16, Jason Hurdle. Number 23, Jacobs, Missouri. Number eight, Cameron Kilbride. Number 11, Usman Chan. Number seven, Owen Shepard. Number nine, Amadou Bayo. And number 27, Sebastian Cochran, with head coach Dino Morley. Referee for this evening, Yiko Jankowski, with Lions Persons, Ian Adams, and Rita Fazazi, with fourth official Ryan Schweiger. It's that moment again, the one you dream of every night. La seule chose qui te préoccupe, c'est la gloire. Le cheminement de la réussite, of pushing yourself further than ever before. But the true glory is in the shadows. Les sacrifices que tu fais, quand toutes les chances sont contre toi, when you can't push one more second, chase the glory. Viseo. Sports on CBC, presented by Les Championnats U-Sport à Radio-Canada. Une présentation du gouvernement du Canada, the government of Canada. Nike, just do it. Fettner. Fox 40, celebrating more than a decade of the Fox 40 U-Sports Coach of the Year Award program. Fier partenaire des prix de l'entraîneur de l'année U-Sport. Veraburn, medical supply partner of Varsity Athletics since 1979. Partenaire du sport universitaire depuis 1979. Baron, exclusive supplier of U-Sports championship rings. Le fournisseur exclusive des bagues du championnat U-Sport. By Bell, presenting partner of this U-Sports championship. Fier partenaire de ce championnat U-Sport. And by Protocase, proud title partner of the 2023 U-Sports men's soccer championship. Et par Protocase, fier partenaire en titre du championnat de soccer masculin U-Sport de 2023. Welcome to the 2023 Proto KSU Sportsmen's Soccer Championship presented by Bell on CBC. I'm Corey LeBlanc along with Bert Sears in our third matchup of quarterfinal Thursday here at Nationals. It's the UQTR Patriot and the host team, the Cape Breton University Capers in the 4-5 matchup here at the National Championship Tournament.
Excuse so me. Good, ev good evening, Corey. Capers, come in, Bart, and a look at our bracket. UMB or UBC, pardon me, has moved on with a win over the St. FX X Men in your top right corner. They'll go on to play the Montreal Caravan, who defeated the Carlton Ravens. So that's the right side of your bracket. Now we're on the left. In the bottom corner, the Patriot and the Capers, and the winner of this one will play the winner of tonight's nightcap between the top ranked Mount Royal Cougars and the York University Lions. So the Capers come in, uh, had their sixth consecutive AUS championship streak, Bert, snapped here last weekend by the St. FX X-Men, who we just watched. And they come into this one, I know at the beginning of the season, Dino Morley talked about the key as we see the crowd filling in here at Ness Timmons Field about depth. Well, he'll have to tap into it tonight. He's down three of his key players in Elijah Lee, Max Peepgrass, Zay Kuna, who all received red cards in the AUS Championship match. And, of course, that means they have to uh, sit, on the, sit in the stands for this one. So a uh, different look to the Caper lineup tonight as they take on the Patriota, somewhat surprise winner of the RSEQ, who upset Montreal, had a 6-5-1 and one regular season mark, but full marks to them for toppling the caravan and earning their spot here at the national championship. Yeah. Yes, they are the the Cinderella story, a six and five, six five and one in, in the regu in the regular season, and they were down one nil to Montreal, and then it was Mohamed Ndiaye with with two goals, one in the 85th, and then in the sixth minute of, of stoppage time, to show that the slipper did indeed fit, and here they are against the home team, CBU Capers just like last year at Nationals. Here we go again. Capers in their home white with orange trim. The Patriot in the black. And we're underway here. Again in this 4-5 matchup, the Capers come in as the fifth seed. The Patriot as RSEQ champions in the number four seed. Yes, and I think imperative for Cape Breton to get off to, to a good start. Good start. Sort of shake off the the, the loss of three key players and never hurts to have a corner kick in the first minute of play to get things going. So really who've checked in to the starting lineup will keep an eye on Andre Beecher who was actually one of the Capers top scorers in the regular season. This is a, was a very malleable lineup for Dino Morley. Of course the mainstays so they'll certainly miss all three particularly Zay Kuna but uh, capable subs in there as well for this one as the Patriot get to the offense first. The starting keeper is Tristan Crempton for the Patriot. Lead pass there, Bertrand. Capers pressing here early. Good work there by Hartle, an AUS All-Star this season. Coming free of the battle, Bertrand working hard early. And now up the midfield, that's where Sebastian Cochran, rookie from Toronto, and now the Patriot. Off to the races here with some open field as they look to get on the bar first. It's LaPlante laying it off. And weaving in a shot. And a good early opportunity there. Gamarui, and there's some of the Caper faithful in the grandstands getting into it right away as the Capers now go back to the offense. And for Le Patriota, a good methodical buildup. And they they play in, in the Quebec League. It's it's a tough league. And they'll be they'll be used to a high standard against an experienced caper side. Trying to chase it down there is Cham. So we see Usman Cham in the lineup on the captains of the capers. Amadou Bio also gets the nod number nine. And they're really kind of the three that get the start over the three absences. Now the Patriot in their own end using their keeper, Crempton. 
crowd into it here early at CBU. Of course, the Capers, the host team. Through ball now, but it'll be coming off his line. Clark and a little too much heat on it for Cochran. And now we'll have a throw in by Bertrand. Here in the early going at Ness Timmons Field. The winner moves on to tomorrow's semifinal Friday. The losing team to the consolation round. Coming free out of that battle. Good work by Garui. Actually, it was Abasi. And CBU just looking to clear the line. A, a solid start for the visiting Patriot. Hurdle now. Rookie from Carleton Place, Ontario, finds Cochran. Cochran, great playmaker. Threw ball on the deck and going down and drawing the call there was Bale. There, actually, pardon me, Uzman Cham on that play. Number 11. As you see, you may be experienced at home, folks. The caper home whites are tough in terms of seeing the numbers with just the orange outline. Cochran now off this early free kick. No danger Kemp here again. Early goal would certainly do a lot for the Capers. Get the crowd and then what team doesn't want the early lead in any playoff game? We'll say when you have the home side, if you can get them in it early. Cochran. To the far post. It's still loose, but the Patriot able to clear it. And now Hurdle once again, who's been in the middle of the play early. Heavy first touch there, but it's banged out by Lalonde. So another chance here for the Capers early. Five minutes in. In a lit Ness Timmons field. Yes. So we'll have, of course, these last two matches will be under the lights here in Sydney. Good defending here by number four, Sear. Through ball will end up being a goal kick. Shepard had a bit of a lane, mm -hmm. but it was just too far for him. So he again is up front, joined by Cham. As the Capers now want to put some pressure on. Nice first touch. Patriot now getting it back for Tron, but he lost it. Good work again by Hartle, who is off to a strong early start. Shepard couldn't hang on to it. Tied for the league lead in goals with nine. First team all AUS. First team all Canadian. Owen Shepard from St. John's, Newfoundland. Patriot now looking to make something happen. Neither keepers but tested yet early on. Patriot, Gamarui, and now all the way back, he'll who uses keeper, Crampton. So good start if you're a UQTR fan, considering you're on the road and against the host team and a boisterous crowd. As drawing the infraction there was the veteran Ben Fortune. And just a correction on my part as far as the keeper. It's La Charite. Pardoning me for La Patriot. So that correction again, Matthew La Charite. His third season from Boucherville. And down on the turf is Desjardins, the sophomore from Blainville, Quebec. And there's our referee for the proceedings, Nico Jakansky. His lines people, Reda Fazazi and Ian Adams. Ryan Schwenger's our fourth official. And still down on his back is Desjardins. The, aside from the well, I guess two corner kicks for the, the Capers. The Patriots, I think, have, have played the game on, on their terms. We, we've seen number seven, uh, Bertrand, a couple of times on the ball. 
And uh, to, to go for, uh, to have a look at, okay, who's playing with more confidence, it's a case of watching who's playing the ball on the deck more, making sure that they're, they're keeping tight control passes on the floor, finding your man, checking to see if you can have a, a quick one two, move the ball up the field methodically. And uh, at this level, you, you can't be skipping steps, if you will. So again, no scorer early as the injured Patriot to his feet. And now jockey for position. And he's going to look to come right back in Desjardins. So he's okay. As the medical team from the Patriot update their coach, Shawnee Black. And off the resumption of play, Sear. Far side now galloping into the zone are the Patriot. And that'll stay with the visitors. Again, this UQTR team coming in on the highest of highs. Mm -hmm. A comeback victory to win the conference title over the Caravan, who won earlier today in dramatic fashion to punch their ticket to the semifinals. And the Patria looking to be the second RSEQ team to make it to tomorrow's semifinal round. The Capers looking to be the lone AUS team after St. Effects is 2-1, lost the UBC. Cleared smartly, and now Shepard, he has electrifying speed. Shepard, nine goals on the season, now impressing against LaPlante. So it will be a caper throw in. As the recovery they off, the, off the free kick for the, pay, the, uh, the capers. Rain Lim wearing the captain's band, and we'll remind you, you can see all the action in the 2023 U Sports Women's Soccer Championship, which is taking place in Kingston, Ontario, over these same four days, November 9th to 12th. You can watch all the action live on CBC Gem and cbcsports.ca. Ganra, <coughs> excuse me, Ganra Rui. With the, with the clearance for Le Patriot. There you see the AUS first team all-star keeper, Daniel Clark from Milton Keynes, or a native of Milton Keynes, England, but moved to Cannes as a youngster with his family, so a lot of his developmental soccer in Ontario. Good play there by Spaziri as he dislodged the ball from Bertrand. But again, another Patriot throw in. And Spaziri will be huge for the Capers tonight, shorn of a couple of their on-field leaders. So he'll, he'll need to keep a cool head. Spaziri, last season's AUS Rookie of the Year. Now the Capers in their own end. And it's ripped out the touch, so a chance now for the Patriot in a scoreless early opening half here at Ness Timmins Field. Off the throw in. Patriot looking for a cross. Up top, good looking ball there, but Clark gets off his line before Abassi could get to it. Long ball there, up to get it was Lamy. Shepard, ever dangerous. Floats one, but back to intercept was Lamise. So good, two good plays by him. And now Hartle will use his back end. There's Rain Lynn. Sliding play comes loose. Now spinning the other way to Capers. Looking to open the scoring here on home turf. Get this home crowd into it. It's going to be a goal kick here. Or will it be a corner, actually? 
Looks to be the indication. Recognize the indication from the lines person. Not quite pointing at the, yes. the corner. Perha perhaps the linesman could get a flashlight and, Actually, yeah. and help us along in the corner. <laughs> Actually, it was a throw-in, so we were, I was wrong on every account. And now I do have the Charité now as our keeper. I corrected that. Again, he's a junior from Boucherville. See, Jep, like most of these players are lion's share. See, Jep experience. Gathered there by Desjardins back. La Charité. Patriot now. 15 minutes in. Look to get some offense going. Lalonde lost it. Capers now, and that's caught Shepard flat-footed and again there was plenty of time there but a little bit of anxiousness here I think for the Capers playing in front of the home crowd early. Everyone's looking to make that big home run play instead of to use the baseball to string together a few singles first. Yes and, and that helps settle, settle everyone when everyone gets a touch on the ball gets comfortable at the pace of the game and the pace of the game that you are setting. Patriot now. Good header there off the turn by Abassi. Patriot in control. Asue. La Charité. Flicked by Cochran. Battle here coming free the Patriot. Abassi lays it off. Good ball to Lemmy. Far side cross, but good defensive effort there. The head of the way that was Beecher. Patriot now, and that ball found no one. But the Capers relieve the pressure. It will be a Patriot throw. And so again, full marks the UQ Tiers. We see some of the, the raucous Caper contingent trying to get their team going here, give them a boost. Canada's top university runners head to London and the historic Thames Valley Golf Course for the 2023 U Sports Men's and Women's Cross Country Championships on Sunday. Women's race at 11, or at noon, pardon me, the ran men's race at 1 p.m. Exclusive coverage of the 2023 U Sports Men's and Women's Cross Country Championships Sunday at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Time on CBC Gem and cbcsports.ca. Patriot, turn, Desjardins. Got closed out there by Spaziri. But they keep control on the far side. Sliding play there by Beecher. Hartle now. Hartle. Lynn. Lynn filling that gap on the far side. In a composed press, as I, I've said in previous games. This time from Le Patriot. Cochran, dangerous with that left foot. Nice softball and touch for Shepard on that one. Trying to put it to the corner flag. Looking for Cham. Deflects. Spaziri in a battle. Working hard. But the Patriot. Now again, poked in, trying to get on to, and he does his cham, but he's bottled up by a pair of defenders. And a chance now for the Patriot with some room. A Suat. Now into the middle, some room for Lemmy. Lemmy still taking his space, why not? Lemmy feathers it forward. 
And good retreat there by Beecher as he had Lalonde charging in. Yeah, like to like to get a shot on target. But, but good good effort. Good build up play once again. That clear by Beecher must have deflected off Lalonde. Mm. And now Cochran. Play on, they say. Play Advantage. on. And the Capers will do just that. Sear. Again, good clearing pass on the deck. Now back turning. Caper sliding play there by Ben Fortune, the veteran. He'll really have to have a yeoman's effort on the back line without Zay Kuna in the lineup. Mm -hmm. Lemmy, top of the box, trying to get turned. Unable to get loose was Lalonde. That shot blocked. Now Cham comes up with it. Spaziri. Looking forward for Shepard. Trying to poke it forward. There was Cham. Patriot now. 20 minutes into this one. Raposo. Aaron pass there is... His teammate zigged instead mm -hmm. of zagged, so a cough up, see if the Capers could take advantage on the throw, and as the student section, all maybe colleague is getting into it here at CBU. Good defending there by the Patriot, that was a Suol. Cochran. His first season. Trying to find Shepard. Shepard gets loose, strikes it, it scores! Owen Shepard. And that's what he's done all season. If you give him an inch, he has one of the best shots in the country. And here it is. The defender misjudged it. It was Gamarui. And Shepard whistled it home. And the Capers get that big first goal. And if you're a first team all Canadian, that is how you finish. Out of out of nothing against the run of play. It matters not. Gamarui misjudged it and then a great first touch. And you can see the velocity on that one on our neck cam. Great ball by Cochran. And great to just chest it down with Shepard and then he whistled it home behind La Charité. So now an answer coming here from the Patriot. Now down a goal, Owen Shepard gets the home crowd into it here at CBU. Hartle. A little scrambly here for the Capers. Cochran now. Set up that opening goal by Owen Shepard. Shepard, who had a hat trick in the semifinals of the AUS, was held off the score sheet in the championship loss to St. FX. Again, Owen Shepard born in St. John's, Newfoundland, did some, like many from the East Coast family, spent some time in Western Canada, and now and then returned home to his native Newfoundland and Labrador, and there you see him. First team AUS All-Star, first team All-Canadian, tied for the league in AUS goals with nine. And just the blueprint part of one of his goals, if you were saying, show me one of Shepard's typical goals. That was it right there on that opener. Yes. Dangerous area. Saw first touch and a powerful finish. And that's, uh, that's a, lethal, a lethal combination if you're, if you're the opponent. CBC TV is your home for the 2023 Canada Life Vanier Cup from Kingston, Ontario. 
Catch the best in university football action Saturday, November 25th at 1 p.m. Eastern on CBC TV, CBC Gem, and CBC Sports.ca. Patriot now looking for an answer midway through the opening half. Good work again by Cochran. Cochran gets it back. Punch the head. Beecher is up there. Now he's retreating back to his defensive spot. UQTR trying to answer the RSEQ champs. Good defensive work there by the Capers. That was Kilbride. And now Cochran with some room. Fortune telling them to take some of that space. Feather it up. He and Spaziri play catch. Cochran. And now back Fortune. All along the near side. See if they might change the field a little bit. Spaziri will use his keeper Clark. And now Beecher. Far side. Capers looking to get some build up here. Patient. And now Dino Mori telling the team to get up. Cochran. That long ball a little too long even for Shepard. And Le Charité gobbles it up. Lemmy lost it. Spinning, Ooh, getting it back LaPlante. was LaPlante who gets spun around. And this is the one, two, three foul on Spaziri. So and again, keeping composure. And Spaziri, yellow card, so yes. now he'll have to be ever so careful the rest of the way. We'll see that play. Trying to knife through. And there it is. Really a no doubter clipped him from behind. Yes, clumsy. LaPlante. And the, the, the refereeing has been, and the officiating in general has been outstanding. And if you, tr if you try to get a foul, they're not going to call it. But if you're, if you're clumsy like that, they'll, they'll blow it up right away. You just, you have to be on your game. Free kick from distance by La Patria, but great work there by Fortune. Now Shepard, he's dangerous on these balls. It's Shepard, right back to his feet, battling. And just in the nick of time, getting it away there was Desjardins. And this is for game for And that's an example there of a 50-50 ball that the, the referee will let go. Cochran now, Sebastian Cochran. Long, Cham in battling for it. But the Patriot will take over here in the 27th minute. Capers with the one to nothing lead on a goal by Owen Shepard. And they'll blow it down with the Patriot player down. Head injury. And that's what the, yes. on a head injury, it's no waiting around. And it looks like a, the nose, I don't know if the Patriot player is bleeding. It's D.I., the hero of the RSEQ title game, I believe, number two. So there's there's number two, and then there is number 13, Mohamed Ndia. Okay, there we go. Yes. Babakar. No shortage. And we'll check there. I'm not sure if they're... No, Toulouse-France for Babakar. Trois-Rivières for Mohamed. Capers, Dino Morley to his bench. Into the fray comes Daniel Stolar, number 14. And also we're going to get a look at Nikolai Sherbrand. There comes Bio. 
Sherbrand has been a threat in limited action this season. The first year player from Denmark. And they send him in for this free kick. Or at least a drop. Yes. Drop ball, I guess. But I don't know if determine who's getting the the possession as Shepard is debating it with her her again our referee Nico Jakanski. So this is gonna be to the capers it looks like again some yeah. more conversation it will be on capers on the drop ball. We'll see if if uh, sportsmanship Prevails here. Cochran floats it off the head of the Patriazzo. Big corner kick opportunity here for the Capers. Up a goal. And I think that's about a, as fair as you, you can do it. You were advancing. And it would have been a... You'd need that extra touch, I believe. But the end result, as you say, a corner kick. La Charité in his area. It'll be Cochran, the left footer. Cochran lofts it into the far post. La Charité, though, punches it forward. Still loose. Great hustle there by Fortune to keep it alive. And now Spaziri. Stolar. Good work there, coming back to defend. That was the Bossy to take it from Fortune. Now the Patriot, and good work there. CBC TV is your home for the Canada Life Fania Cup from Kingston. Don't forget tickets for that game begin at twenty dollars. Order your tickets to the biggest football game of the year by visiting VanierCup.com or by scanning the QR code on your screen. Fortune now. Again, a great veteran to have back there if you're Dino Morley. Maidenhead, England. Spinning there, a Suyon. Settling back in here, Beecher. Nice ball there for Hartle. Far side, Rain Lynn. Kilbride. Should be some room here. No, good closeout. I thought Cochran had some real estate, but Patriot not letting him get cranked up. Headed forward there by a Suyat. Cochran, close quarters. Lofts it. Sherbrand, good shield here. And draws the yep. infraction. So a dandy spot for a free kick here if you're a Caper fan. That's the call against the fifth year senior Thomas Sear, the hometowner from Trois Rivieres. It'll be Cochran once again in this 1 0 score for the Capers. Owen Shepard with the sizzling strike here. That's the difference so far. And there, a great angle of what you're seeing of your Cochran. Cochran waits for the whistle, the Toronto native. Lofts it in. Oh, it's loose, it's gone! It. I believe it's Shepard once again. It is. Yes. And the seas just seem to open there for the Capers. Shepard and a couple of other capers were all alone. And the St. John's native made no mistake. He has a pair and the capers take a two to nothing lead. Again, brilliant strike, nice curl. And unmarked. Two defenders I believe went to, to Fortune. That's a really big defensive gaffe if you're a Trois Rivieres fan. Already down a goal in the let. The AUS's leading scorer, one of the best strikers in the country, free like that. 
and he made no mistake. So what a start to this tournament for Owen Shepard. Great first touch there. And that's gotten the already boisterous caper home crowd into it. The Patriot need to stem the tide here a little bit. And then again, this is a caper side missing some key pieces by their own hand. No doubt about that. Say Kuna, Peepgrass, Lee not in the lineup. Off red cards in the AUS final. But so far, their mates have been able to move on strongly without them. But here come the Patriot looking for their first goal. Spazieri back to help. Great work there by Lamy. Oh, and just missing on the follow up as Clark got caught a little flat footed. Yeah, Bertrand got a hold of this one. But it was good build up play, nicely done by Lamy, number nine. And you said the big shot, or at least defensive play by Spazieri, and you see. Bertrand. But Clark, again, who hasn't been busy. The AUS first team all-star keeper here in the 35th minute. A pair of goals by Owen Shepherds, the difference so far. That foul there, good work by Lalonde. His beater has the call against him. So a big chance here for the Patriot to really, they need something to swing the momentum here. The crowd's into it. The capers look buoyed by a pair of goals by their striker. In control here now and again, UQTR needs an answer. Here, see if they can get one. Clark bangs it away. And then on the secondary look, Desjardins, but not much of a chance there. No, no I think that was hit more in, in, in frustration. frustration. I wouldn't say anger, because he's, he's kept a cool head. And he'll, he'll need to continue to do so. Plenty of time left in this match. You've come back before, you can do it again. Great first touch there by Shepard, you can tell He's feeling it tonight. Pair of goals already. Sherbrand get twisted around. And they're gonna give him the call and good sportsmanship there by both. Raposo. So a big chance again for the yes. Capers here. Up a pair with the free kick. As they huddle here to see what they're gonna do. And Cochran, Shepard, such a, a wonderful ball striker. Cochran, who's been in the mix throughout here, lofts it in. Good header to clear the zone there by Abasi. And the Capers will reload here. Actually, they're going to say it's the Patriot with possession here in the 38th minute. Down a pair. They need a lift. See if they can get it here. Good run there and it deflects, so here may be that chance for the RSEQ champs. Good look there at Mandi Abasi, one of the key freshmen. Daniel Clark with a push there to Bertrand <laughs> and another. Over playing tight, D is Lynn. Lofted in, oh, and Clark Great. had to be careful. Great take. Lamy almost get in there now. Jailbreak here, oh, and he hit <laughs> Sherbrand. Tough uh -huh. luck there for the Capers because I think Shepard might have been in alone. Yes. It's kind of like the, the three on two in hockey. <laughs> hit his own mate in the skate with the puck. Well, there, 
Cochran dinged Sherbrand, who was trying to get in the other wing. He had the right idea as well, but just bad luck. That's good, very good by Fortune. Climbing up top, you always risk of a, always risk a uh, over the back foul, if if you will. But again, a good veteran play. Stolar to the feet of Spaziri. Spaziri certainly nifty in close quarters. Laid it back, Stolar. And now Cochran will reload. Getting up to about 40 minutes into this one. Owen Shepard with oh, a pair. Advantage being played, Hartle had committed a foul. Some room here on the far side for the Patriot. Into the box, trying to settle it. Is oh, and a golden opportunity there by Abasi. And the Patriot player down back in his own end. Abasi, I don't think he realized how free he was. Square on to Clark. Here we'll see it. I think that, oh, this is what we'll see for the replay. Was that tipped? It may have just got yeah. it when it was on the bounce a little bit off the ground, and that might have sent it airborne. And this is Raposo down getting s some extra attention as Dino Morley Capers head coach talks to I think Sebastian Cochran with the absence of Zay Kuna mm -hmm. has kind of taken over the kind of quarterbacking things for the Capers as the Patriot player back to his feet but he certainly gets up gingerly Raposo And often you look to your Zekunas, your center backs for sort of the composure on the back line. But sometimes it's it's the wing backs that need to do it. And with, with Shepard, we've seen it throughout his career. He can just keep the ball and you keep it on the flank. So it's it's out of the the, the heat of the, the midfield, if you will. And it can provide just a bit of a, a mental uh, break for, for the 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 central players and it's it's a great benefit to the capers and we've seen so tonight with with his his two assists he's he's been sensational not to mention the shots by shepherd as as well bertrand good effort there they get high but went down hard with spaziri and he's reaching his lower back If you like the action you're seeing here today, there are tickets still available for the rest of the 2023 U Sports Proto K Soccer Championship presented by Bell here in Sydney. Order your tickets today by visiting usports.ca slash tickets or by scanning the QR code on your screen. Off the throw in, headed away. Lalonde. Couldn't ram it through there and cleared by the Capers, but the Patriot good possession here in the Caper end. See if they can muster something up here on the throw in. LaPlante will start it, get it back, and then it's chipped out by Stolar. So the Patriot here late in the opening half. Owen Shepard's two goals the difference. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Our SEQ champions all. Plenty of hurt. They're not out of this one yet as Fortune, who's had a rock solid opening half, heads it away. Cross top of the box, but there's Beecher. And that's how Beecher did a lot of his scoring in the AUS season was in the air, and he shows his hops there defensively. Raposo, nice ball and nice first touch there by Gamarui. Gets it again, but can't get it through a pair of caper defenders. It's off Hartle. And we haven't said his name a lot, but he's, he's closed down on the Patriots. 
Le Patriot, I should say. Uh, midfielders very quickly. And there's been a lot of the, when they're clearing it, the bouncing ball, and then they have to re-rack, as Chris Cuthbert would say, and then go, go back to work. And you're so right, Jason Hurdle, second team AUS All-Star in his first season, and you may go stretches in a match and not say his name, but... Or see his number. Yeah, and <laughs> yeah. But that has nothing to do with his play. <laughs> uh, depending on the jersey, that's usually yeah. what it is. There's Dino Morley up off the bench. He's been, he's usually up throughout. Mm -hmm. Banged out by the capers. The road to the Canada Life Fanier Cup continues this weekend on cbcsports.ca with coverage of the OUA Yates Cup Championship Saturday at 1 p.m. Eastern time. Those OUA champions will take on the winners of the RSEQ Dunsmore Cup next Saturday at 12 p.m. Eastern in the 2023 UPTEC Bowl from either Université de Montréal or Université Laval. The road to the Canada Vanier Cup and the 2023 UTEC Bowl next Saturday at 12 Eastern on CBC Gem and cbcsports.ca. And the crowd very much warming to the caper cause. And it's been not quite, if you will, toddy at the back for the capers, but it's been, it's been steady enough. And Yuki UTR still scoreless. It's getting up to about 45 minute mark here in the first half. I don't know if we've gotten word of time tacked on here. That far side. Settling it. Good defending there and trying to bring it back the other way of the Patriot. Three minutes. Extra time tacked on here. Two to nothing. Caper lead. Wouldn't the Patriot love to get one back here before the half? Capers. They wouldn't pass up on another either. Sherbrand sure now. Look at Spaziri heading for the goal. Brave take by La Charité. And he had to be decisive. Yes. Because Spaziri was charging in for it. And I think like us, he saw that develop with Spaziri and Sherbrand sure and said, I better get up and get this ball. And now the Patriot here late in the opening half, down a pair. The RC, RSEQ champs, number four seed against the number five. AUS runner up and host capers. As you said, defensively in their own end, sometimes Bert the capers, it hasn't been something Elegant. to hang in the Louvre, but. Um, <laughs> The important thing yeah. is the goose egg on the scoreboard. And again, you miss Lee, who late, especially late in the season, had become a key defender. And of course, Say Kuna, one of the best in the nation. A charité. Going to be some room here if Patriot want to take it. Caper certainly want to protect here against anything late. I think they look like they're content unless they get a turnover to take a two goal cushion to the locker room here at home. And that's very much just territorial gain. Yeah. Deep Patriot throw yes. in now La Charité. Didn't have a chance on either goal that Owen Shepard scored. Second coming off a free kick. Both set up by Sebastian Cochran. Down on that play, Kilbride. Actually, Schoenbrand. Paramus had some good minutes in off of Dino Morley's bench. Nice ball here at the far post, but Beecher climbs the ladder. And Lynn clears the deck. 
And again, Beecher's so superb in the air. Will be Lynn to throw it in, the veteran. And that's our halftime whistle here at Ness Tibbetts Field and the home crowd sends their team to the locker room with a lot of cheers. And your score at the half here at Cape Breton University in our third 2023 Proto KSU Sports National Championship quarterfinal. It's the host Cape Breton University Capers 2, the UQTR Patriot no score. We're gonna step aside for a bit. We'll be back with some highlights. You're watching the 2023 U Sports Proto Case Men's Soccer Championship on CBC. Voici les candidats pour le prix de l'entraîneur ou l'entraîneuse de l'année Fox 40 U Sport. The nominees for the 2023 Fox 40 U Sports Men's Soccer Coach of the Year are Du Sport Universitaire de l'Atlantique, from the AUS, Bram Kennedy, Université saint francis Xavier, saint Effects University. Du Réseau du Sport Étudiant du Québec, from the RSEQ, Pat Raimondo, Université de Montréal, University of Montreal. Des Sports Universitaires de l'Ontario, from the OUA, Marcelo Plata, Université Carleton University. Et de l'Association Ouest Canadienne, from Canada West, Larry Stefanik, Université de Victoria, University of Victoria. Le lauréat ou la lauréate du prix de l'entraîneur ou l'entraîneuse de l'année Fox 40 U Sport est, the winner of the Fox 40 U Sports Coach of the Year is Pat Raimondo, Université de Montréal. University of Montreal. The candidates for the Prix de l'Engagement Communautaire U Sport sont The nominees for the U Sports Men's Soccer Community Service Award are Du Sport Universitaire de l'Atlantique, from the AUS, Luke Berryman, Université Dalhousie University. Du Réseau du Sport Étudiant du Québec, from the RSEQ, David Harrison, Université de Sherbrooke, University of Sherbrooke. Des Sports Universitaires de l'Ontario, from the OUA, Alexander Domingos, Université de Nipissing University. Et de l'Association West Canadienne, from Canada West, Chris Lee, Université de la Colombie-Britannique, UBC. Le lauréat du prix de l'engagement communautaire est The winner of the U Sports Community Service Award is Luke Berryman, Université Dalhousie University.
The nominees for the 2023 Lou Bielek Award for the U Sports Men's Soccer Rookie of the Year are a nomination for the prix Lou Bielek décerné à la recrue de l'année 2023 en soccer masculin, du sport universitaire de l'Atlantique, from the AUS, Isaac Van Weichen, Université St. Francis Xavier, St. Effex University, du réseau du sport étudiant du Québec, from the RSEQ, Maxime Bourgeois, Université de Sherbrooke, University of Sherbrooke, des sports universitaires de l'Ontario, from the OUA, Michael Maslanka, Université de Toronto, University of Toronto, et de l'Association West Canadienne, from Canada West, Brennan First, Université de la Colombie-Britannique, UBC. Le lauréat du prix Lou Bielek en tant que recrue de l'année en soccer masculin U Sport est The winner of the Lou Bielek Award as U Sports Men's Soccer Rookie of the Year is Brennan First, Université de la Colombie-Britannique, UBC. It was my greatest thrill when we just stood still. You let me hold your hand till I had my fill. Help you to see you through. Whatever life looks like to you, we're here for it. For life as you know it. Insurance, investments, advice. Canada Life. The nominees for the 2023 Joe Johnson Award as the U Sports Men's Soccer Player of the Year are en nomination pour le prix Joe Johnson décerné à l'athlète de l'année en soccer masculin U Sport, du sport universitaire de l'Atlantique, from the AUS, Kyle Cordero, Université Saint Francis Xavier, Saint Effex University, du réseau du sport étudiant du Québec, from the RSEQ, Gregory David, Université du Québec à Montréal, UCAM. Des sports universitaires de l'Ontario, from the OUA, Omar Marzouk, Université Ontario Tech University, et de l'Association West Canadienne, from Canada West, Sebastian Jakowski, Université de la Colombie-Britannique, UBC. Le lauréat du prix Joe Johnson décerné aux joueurs de l'année en soccer masculin U Sport est The winner of the Joe Johnson Award as the 2023 U Sports Player of the Year in Men's Soccer is Sebastian Jakowski, Université de la Colombie-Britannique, UBC. One to nothing, and he showed why he was one of the top goal scorers in the nation this season as he took that ball from Sebastian Cochran and just laced it by Le Charité. And here's the corner by the Capers, but punched away by Le Charité. Here's the second, and the C's kind of opened here defensively as Shepard was just there by himself and able with the left foot. No chance for Le Charité. But what a touch by Shepard even on that one. It was off the ground and just tucked it inside that left goal post. Here's some of the Patria opportunities. There was a test. Daniel Clark got caught a little five-footed there by Etienne Bertrand. 
And there was a good chance off a corner by Isio. It's this one that hit the, the back heel. Yes. And it looked like I think Shepard, if he had a, if he stayed on side or on that play, he would have been in alone for the hat trick. So the Patriot, the RSEQ champs. Plenty of time here, Bert. They yes. rallied, as you said, in our opening against the Montreal Caravan to win the championship in their conference. So certainly more than capable now of making a comeback here, but it's going to be tough against the Capers here in front of their home crowd. Yes, and it's it's a case of if you're Le Patriot is taking your chances. So with the, with the the Capers, you know the great the great set piece ball striking of Cochrane. It's not it's not that the that they don't have that. It's just a matter of making sure that you know when, when you have your purple patch. When you're when you're building momentum, that y you score that goal to to give yourself the extra lift to keep you keep you moving forward. As for the capers, same again. Don't sit back. It's nil nil. You go again. So we're in for uh, I think a, a fascinating next 45 minutes. So we'll take a step away here just before we get going in the second half of this one. Capers 2, Patriot no score. You're watching the 2023 Proto Case U Sports Men's Soccer Championship presented by Bell on CBC. I dreamt we had cable internet. Oh, sweetie. We've always had cable internet. <laughs> Once you're used to Bell Pure Fiber Internet, anything else is terrifying. Gonna crush the bake sale tomorrow, huh? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, is that the sugar you've been using? Yep. You put it in the cookies? Yep. The cupcakes? Yep. The brownies? Yep. Not the snicker doodles. Yep, everything. Huh. From our bakery to your table. So be it, Selby's. ressemble votre vie, vous pouvez compter sur nous. Pour la vie comme vous la vivez. Assurance, placement, conseil. Canada Vie. Unbelievable! History has repeated itself! Get the stories behind the glory. Watch, listen, stream, read CBC Sports. Welcome back, folks, to the 2023 Proto Case U Sports Men's Soccer Championship presented by Bell here at Cape Breton University in Sydney, Nova Scotia. Our third match of quarterfinal Thursday here at the championship, day one. We're ready to start the second half. The Cape Breton University Capers, the host team in AUS runners up two. The RSEQ champion University of Quebec at Trois-Rivières Patriot, no score. 
as we're getting ready again to start the second half. The winner goes to the semifinal bracket tomorrow to play either the Mount Royal Cougars or the York Lions, the two teams in our nightcap match coming up next. And the losing team will move to the consolation round and go up against, again, whoever loses that matchup coming up later between the Cougars and the Lions. So the battle of, battle of the Cats coming up in our fourth quarter final. But first things first, Patriot looked to rally here. We're underway there in their black and white. Capers in their white and orange. And we're underway here. Patriot, again, plenty of time, but they'd like a, an early spark here would certainly be helpful as we're underway. That looked like a handmade contact, but we're gonna say it's incident or incidental contact. That far side, trying to keep it in, but tough ball there, and it'll go over to the Capers, and we'll try to track any substitutions as well as we go along here. And there, there was one just uh, before we started, Lalonde came off for number 13, Mohamed Ndi. Snap off the throw in. Capers, Sherbrand, who come on in the midway through the opening half. He's up front there along with Shepard, injured Patria on the far side and he gets up gingerly. And now the Capers, Lynn. The veteran. Patriot now with some room here. Nice ball by Bertrand. Tried to squeeze it through there. The Mohamed D.I. Nice through. Now the Patriot. Kamarui. Long ball, trying to chase it down LaPlante. LaPlante, good play there by Lynn. And now Spaziri, the nifty Spaziri, but defend it well. Good work there again by Gamarui. Good look now with the captain's band on for this one with Zay Kuna at the lineup. Rain Lynn. Again. Oh, go ahead, Barry. No, I was just going to say Gamarui. Uh, first team. Or not first team, excuse me. All rookie team. Although, I'm sure first team will be coming in a, in a year or two. D.I. Poked out smartly by Cochran. And it'll be a LaPlante throw in. LaPlante, sophomore from saint Julie. Good defending there mm -hmm. by Beecher. And now back the other way, sure, Brand. If he was able to get a head on a forward, I think he would have been off to the races, but it just skipped over him. So again, the Denmark product giving Dino Morley some strong minutes here. Took an odd bounce. And it was Schoenbrand first, first to it. Spaziri, Spaziri. Oh, trying to knife in here. It's Lou Schoenbrand. And that sail wide of the right post. The ball, the ball seems to be finding him, Corey. Excuse me, sorry. No, that's okay. I th think he was looking for a deflection. He's not going to get it. There's an up-close look there of Gamarui. Yes, and that will be a foul against Abbasi. At least early on, these first couple of minutes, of Patria looking for the long ball more mm -hmm. than we saw in the opening half. I don't know if they're thinking they can put some pressure on the the Caper D as Beecher. And perhaps just trying to play a little more in the Caper half. Just get some territory and, and work from there. Hatcher out, win that one in the air. Now try to keep possession. They'll Get the advantage call. And they're gonna say no, march it back right. to where the infraction took place. Our referee, Nico Jakanski. Patriot now, five minutes into the second half. Down a pair. Owen Shepard both 
Caper goals to St. John's product. That was a tough ball to, to bring down. There's a good look again at Rain Lynn. He's had a strong match so far leading the way here for the shorthanded Capers as they try to get the quarterfinal win at home and a collision there. And the Caper player came up a little worse for wears. Look at the chilly Caper faithful. Everyone bundled up. I mean, for this time of year, we're talking about off the air at half bird. It's, I mean, you know, you get above zero at this time of the year, six, seven, eight degrees mm -hmm. uh, in Cape Breton. The wind hasn't really, oh, Ooh, and that Kilbride. Kilbride. And that was a tough one. That'll be yeah. one definitely. I need to shake that off. I was looking, I'm glad I didn't say anything, but the color is the official's whistle in his hand looked like, I'm like, where the, what's up with the red card? But it was his whistle, so I'm glad I was a little patient before I started flapping my gums on that one. And now Shepard, who was like the cliche, big, big games or big game players have to come through. And that's what Shepard's done in this one so far. Mm -hmm. And just again, wrong side of the ball. And Schoenbrand has been excellent, as you said, Corey. No, it was, he was on the wrong side of the ball, excuse me. Raposo, oh, nice touch there in DI. But unable to wiggle free was Abasi. Now back the other way, the Capers galloping in. Up a pair, can they add on to it? No, great anticipation there. Great defensive play by Sear. Actually, it was a Suat. Give credit where credit's due. Caper throw in now. 53rd minute of this one. Again, the winner moves on to the semifinal round. Losing team consolation match tomorrow. Room now for Gamarui. Finds LaPlante. He uses keeper Le Charité. Again, you can hear Lisa Paca, the Caper Faithful. Mm -hmm. They've been vocal. Those folks in the bleachers are keeping it lively here at Ness Timmons Field and from behind. Yes, the referee has, has kept things quite, quite tight. It will and be a booking against Shepard. Now he'll yes. have to watch. Yes. So that'll be a consideration, especially the later this one gets, and it looks like the Capers may have a stranglehold on it. Certainly you don't want another, as you get a look at the Caper faithful there, all bundled up with their Caper mm -hmm. orange and green. Always nice to see the act of so many teams. I get on a little bit of a rant on this during the AUS teams. Uh, wearing their school colors. Always nice to see the orange and green. Kamarui, long ball and there's Fortune again. Fortune has stepped up as well with his mate, say Kuna had the lineup. Sure, Brand wanted the call, he's not gonna get that. And now some room for Desjardins. Long ball to the corner. Good battle there, trying to come away with a Bertrand. Will be a Patriot throw in. A lot of the players going with the long sleeves and even gloves for the, the elements here. Raposo. 
And now back to collect. Don't forget the 2023 U Sports Women's Soccer Championship taking place in Kingston, Ontario, hosted by Queen's University from November 9th to 12th. You can watch all the live action on CBC Gem and cbcsports.ca. Sure, Brand's going to get caught that's there his, for clipping. That's that's at least his second. So he'll he's on the eve of a yes. maybe a booking yes. with another. First touch a little heavy there. That was a tough one for Abassi, and he lost it. And now off his line to gather it, Le, Le Charité. Slings it out for Gamarui. Gamarui gets by Spaziri. Good early defending this first 10 minutes or so by the Capers, up two. Patriot not able to threaten so far. Capers look to get to the offense now. Sherbrand, far side. Shepard, watch Shepard the burst, but a good sliding play there by Suyat. And Fortune voicing his displeasure with his teammates. Certainly one of the mm -hmm. vocal leaders of the Capers is Beecher. Does good work there to intercept that one, but gives it over to LaPlante. LaPlante, lovely little pass, trying to feather it over. But Rain Lynn got there first, and then after the fact, Lamy. Yes, he obviously got to the, the, Lynn obviously got to the ball first. But we'll have a look here. It looks like a little bit after that then. Whether it was on the follow yes, through or late. Oh, yes. And then got Lamy after. Oh, yes. well, he's back to his feet. Throw in here for LaPlante, a sophomore. And more subs coming for CBU. Sherbrand sure, will check out. Jamie Nicholson, our first look at him, and he played on a limited basis. Another one of the UK products, but he's showing some flashes. Maybe his presence fell late in the season. Stolar will go back to the bench. Mateo Goldstein from Winnipeg, Manitoba in the lineup, so. He'll help shore up the midfield. And, again, and Nicholson is a is a dynamic player. Do you know Morley still liberal with his substitutions despite the short bench? Again, it's Shepard that definitely you want to be very aware of you him to get in any sort of entanglements. Now with the yellow mm -hmm. card on his ledger for this one. In the middle, poke forward. There to gather it up, Hurdle. Far side, Nicholson just on the pitch, oh. a nifty pass there. All in the cross, didn't get there. And that was Cochran coming from the back and there's what you get with the dynamic skill of Nicholson. There you look at Cameron Kilbride who took that shot to the face on the collision. He looks like he's okay. D.I. Good strong work there and he feathered it through. Oh and good play by Clark to come off his line to Rob Babasi. But Clark came up gingerly after that one. Great turn. So 
So we'll keep an eye on Clark. Ooh, play on or not. Could have been perhaps. Hand to ball. Here's Mohammed, NDI. And if Clark hadn't if Great backtrack. Decided when he did to come out. Abasi. It looks like he maybe he's going to head to the bench. And into the fray, Emile Boivin. Boivin, number 12. Junior, another hometown product from Trois Rivieres. Lynn uses defender Beecher. 60 minutes in. Capers 2. UQTR no score. They're going to get that call against mm -hmm. Boyavan, who just came in off the bench. So it looks like Fortune, no, maybe, probably, no, Fortune will engineer this one, use Cochrane out wide. So Fortune. Veteran from Maidenhead, England, went to the near side. For Lynn, Lynn crosses it, took a bounce. Good defensive play there by Gamarui. D.I. Oh, I think maybe Nicholson picked up the foul, but he's been he's been wonderful tracking back. I know he's just on, so he's he's full of energy, but still support supporting the back four, that giving sales. them an outlet as needed. Out the touch. So it looks like Clark is okay. There's the captain for this evening, Rain Lynn. And a bit more of a stay-at-home defenseman, if you will, uh, that, than Cochran, but still very effective and knows when to pick his spots well to decide to jet out from the back line. Long ball, getting there first was Cochran who did a rollover after getting up to get the head on it, lost his balance. That was Nicholson battling on the far side, but they're going to stay. It stays with UQTR. Boyavin, who's been in the mix since he came on. Great feet there by Suya. Capers now. Looking to tack onto this two goal lead. Airborne there by Gamarui. Battle for it. Poke through. Laplante. Getting it back, Gamarui. Patriot now 64 minutes in. Feather through. Good anticipation there by Lynn. Lynn. On the run, Rain Lynn. Couldn't get by Gamarui. And then he gets chopped down. That's tough. They did, they did. I don't think they needed to do that. Patriot. Laplante. Against Beecher. And Laplante couldn't hang on to it. There's a good look at Andre Beecher. Canada's top university runners head to London in the historic Thames Valley Golf Course for the 2023 U Sports Men's and Women's Cross Country Championships on Sunday, November 12th. The women's race begins at noon Eastern, followed by the men's at 1 p.m. Exclusive coverage of the 2023 U Sports Men's and Women's Cross Country Championships begins this Sunday at 11.30 a.m. Eastern on CBC Gem and cbcsports.ca. Some running room, Bertrand. Nicholson, good work. And he'll draw the infraction. So Nicholson off the bench. As you said, Bert, smartly coming back on a few occasions now to help 
his back line. Also, like our premier sponsor, Sobeys, as well as our youth sport and national sponsors, Chipped. Rings, and now the Capers get it back. 65th minute, up a pair. Winner heads to a semifinal tomorrow. UQTR in as the RSEQ champions. Again, with a come be from behind victory in the championship over the Caravan de Montreal. And the Capers looking for their seventh consecutive AUS championship. It would have been a conference record for men's soccer. But the Santa Fex X Men right on this field stopped that last Sunday. So the Capers looking for some redemption here at Nationals. Raposo. Lynn. Kilbride dropped off the flex. And that happens too. When you, when you go to do the right thing, it doesn't quite come off. The, the end result, throw in. So not exactly what you wanted, but you still can't keep possession. Kilbride volleyed away by Sear. There's Beecher in the air. Hurdle in a battle there against NDI. Now back to Uriah Suyat. Bertram working hard. He's been a presence throughout for UQTR, but again, Capers take over. Hartle, good clip from behind. Now they have some room. A shot, oh, and a piece oh. by Clark, and then off the post. As that was ripped by Mohamed NDI. That's, that's what he's paid to do. Great shot. Yeah, a piece Ooh. and then off the crossbar, and Fortune was like the defenseman pinching up. He got caught. And that freed up in DI. Here's the goal cam. Oh, and oh. Clark, and that had some mustard on it, much like the Shepherd goal. So the freshman from Trois Rivieres almost got his team back in it mm. there. But Clark. Had a couple of big saves here in the second half for the Capers. Back to back first team, AUS All Star keeper. If you talk to Dino Morley about him, he's quick to tell you that he thinks Clark's the best keeper in the nation. Now Trois Riviere with a chance. Nicholson's just going to get a little talk to. From Nico Chikansky. CBC TV is your home for the 2023 Canada Light Vanier Cup from Kingston, Ontario. Catch the best in university football action Saturday, November 25th at 1 p.m. Eastern on CBC TV, CBC Gem, and cbcsports.ca. Shepard battling, already has a pair, Shepard. Good patient work there by Sear to take it away. Lynn spinning from the attacker in DI. Mohammed, who had that glorious opportunity moments ago. Gamarui chased from behind. Headed down, but back in chasing after it are the Capers. Goldstein, Hurdle, turned it over. Chance here for Le Patriot. 
Nice ball. Chance here. Just boy event. That long drive by Raposo. That boy event had the chance, maybe either a shot or to take a wide, but he brought it to the middle, right into the teeth of the caper yes. D. Sometimes you you want to bring it into the, the chaos, but that's perhaps if you're, you know, running into maybe the six yard back box rather than the, the tip of the 18. Up over the 70 minute mark now. The two goals by Owen Shepard in the opening half still stand. The Capers look to send the home crowd home happy on day one of the national championship tournament. And the Capers trying to do what the CBU women did under Ness Timmons. That was back in 2007 in New Waterford. On the pitch there is the win a national championship as the host team. Nicholson, great work. Nicholson's been lively since he's come in. Ooh, Shepard, better be careful. Bert trying to Shove end. down. One of the problems with a Shepard is you, you don't want him to ramp it down because that's often when you, it's like trying not to get <laughs> Trying not to get hurt well, often when you start to play halfway is when you get into trouble. Corner and kick. Big chance here for Yuku TR. That went out offering Lynn. And and with the with the two goal lead, maybe you give him another five minutes. And the Cape Breton Brain Trust having a bit of a chat and perhaps what it's a case of how much longer are we, are we going to give him? Far post, headed away. Trying to put it right back in. Now the Patriota chance. Scramble. And then pound it out. As Shepard. Shepard. Patriot now. Boyavan. Lamy. Top of the box and right throw idea. it high and wide. Just off target by Lamy. CBC TV is your home for the 2023 Canada Life Family Cup and tickets for that showcase in Kingston, Ontario begin at only $20. Order your tickets to the biggest football game of the year by visiting VanierCup.com or by scanning the QR code on your screen. Patriot now. Trailing by a pair. Still plenty of time, but it's going to start to become a factor before long here. 73 minutes into this quarterfinal. Again, Nicholson, a timely intervention. Floated and headed, oh, Clark! Just got his fingertips on it. He juggled it and then had to swat it away. And another chance for Muhammad D.I. He got up, headed it. Oh, and Clark. Every and inch of that mitt. Yes, and I think where, where the ball came to it, that was that was as well as any player could do. Great Hepford again yes. by Muhammad Di, the freshman showing his presence. He could easily have this one tied. Yes. And you wouldn't want to give him too many more chances if if you're the Capers, because he looks he looks due, he looks dangerous. As you can see on the end of that play from the caper bench, Dino Morley just, the gesture lets calm things down here. 
Fortune. Good header right to Cochran who then sends it into the Patriot zone. Good close out there by Fortune and now a chance for Lynn to collect. He uses keeper, he does. Clark and now charging in. It was in DI. It looks like a booking for Kilbride. Right. Yes. Gamarui. Caper crowd getting back into it here after a bit of a lull. 75 minute mark. Owen Shepard, two goals, Capers up two to nothing. There you see Cameron Kilbride. Long ball there by Gamarui. It's loose. Points to the spot. Oh, and Speecher. And we'll see. We've seen one red card today. I don't think we'll, we'll see red here. Fortune doesn't but. agree with the call. And now the referee is going to check on the injured and to his feet. The Patriot player will see the play here. It's Beecher. And that was against LaPlante. Okay. Both players going to the ball. I'm not even sure. Yeah. Neither got much of the ball. And now Lemmy. Can he make it interesting? Very interesting. Cut it the two to one. Referee gives Clark his instructions. He bounces on his goal line. Let me, Clark. We're waiting for a whistle. Chance for UQTR to get back into this match. Not that they're out of it, but this will really make it a nail biter down the stretch. Let me, Clark, scores. And he'll charge it back up the half. Two to one now. Lamy made it look easy. Clark zigged, Lamy zagged, and it's two to one. It's a, a striker's finish. Lamy, a fine player. Don't go anywhere, and a fine folks. Finish. Still. Plenty of time left in this one. The momentum certainly tilted now to the visitors. They've had a good chunk of the play until they got that goal. And sometimes they say you make your own luck. Yes. The harder you work, the luckier you get. And now Lynn. He's going to have to be one of the vets to settle things here for the capers. Hurdle. Oh, and a big collision there. Looked like knee on knee. And the Patriot player down, not sure if it's Desjardins think, yes, or Gamarui. I, I think it is Desjardins. Nice ball here. LaPlante. LaPlante. Top of the box. Oh, and the Capers just able to turn Bertrand away. And I think Lynn's going to get that call, although LaPlante didn't agree. And Rain Lynn feeling the effects. And there back to his feet is Desjardins. When that knee on knee. And now looks like some cramping for Rain Lynn. You can see the rug burn from the turf on the right knee. And the dancing maybe trying to get the crowd into it. The, uh, the glasses are empty, but the voices are yeah, full, Corey. Yeah. <laughs> and the dance moves are yes. out in full force. And th this would be a big loss. It, th they'll give him as much time as, well, they're allowed to for, for Lynn to get, to get ready and stay, stay on the field. Capers up two to one. They were up two to nothing. Half, half time on goals by own Shepard. He has both for his team and then just moments ago on a penalty kick it was Vincent Lamy, senior from Sherbrooke, Quebec has some experience with the Halifax Wanderers under 23 outfit here in Nova Scotia. Goldstein now 
having a chat there with Hartle. As again, Lynn trying to loosen that left calf, but he doesn't look like he's ready to go, at least at this point. So that's a key moment here late in this one because Lynn, a stabilizer oh. on that back line. And he gave the indication to the coach just that he, he'll need to come out. That's, that's a big loss. Beecher now, skyward. Head it down, then flick forward. Patriot. Trying to let it trickle out the touch is Cochran. And he sits up grabbing, trying to loosen up and he'll have a throw in here up over the 80th minute on the scoreboard. Of course, we'll have no doubt some time tacked on here late. If you like the action you're seeing today, there are still tickets available for the rest of the 2023 U Sports Proto Case Men's Soccer Championship presented by Bell here in Sydney. Order your tickets today by visiting usports.ca slash tickets or by scanning the QR code on your screen. Another good chance for Lamy. Just snatched at that slightly, didn't get the head over the ball, but that's a chance and a, sh a shot, I should say, that uh, he's earned the right to take from just outside the 18-yard box. Kira Maddock is in. So again, Lynn had to come to the bench. Clark, he's not going to rush things, of course. Take all the time he's allotted. Booms it up to half. First touch by the Capers, and that was Nicholson. But it's back to the Patriot, and that's what they need. Possession here as they try to get the equalizer. Good run there by LaPlante. LaPlante and Maddock, the fresh legs off the bench, keeping an eye on him. Beecher, pressure on him now in the back line. Lin out. This is the time of the game, certainly, that you would see Zay Kuna buckling back more to defend. So Kilbride has gone to right back. Maddock into the heart of midfield. Wow, big break there for UQTR, the deflection from that distance. And it went out on the back line, so a corner kick chance here's Beecher. Fortune will be key on this one. Curled in, it's loose. Still there, Fonny punched out. See what they got in the secondary look here. Boyavin. Sear. Drop back for Gamarui. Raposo. Oh, some room here on the far side. All feathered to the far post. And Mohamed. D.I. couldn't come up with it and cleared. Patriot pressing here. Capers bending but not breaking. UQTR. Boyavin. Beecher. Poked free but knocked down. Right back in. And Clark smartly covering his post just in case, but not making any contact, letting it go out the touch. And we'll go back to Amadou Bayo, and there's the departure of Owen Shepard. Shepard. Again, with that yellow card earlier, that's the big consideration there as he gets mm -hmm. shake hands and hugs from his coaches in the bench. Now it's Clark. 
creeping up to about the 85th minute. We'll keep an eye in a few minutes to see what's tacked on in terms of stoppage time. Sky high, and there's Beecher. Up in the clouds to get that one. LaPlante lays it off. Lemmy LaPlante. LaPlante. Into the 18 yard, but Fortune. So the Capers. Trying to keep this one goal lead late in their third quarter final. A chance to play in a national semi-final, it's loose. Clark came flying out and barreled into his own man. Yes, and he gives a little shove to Ndi. Once the ball went airborne and backwards off the fortune header, Clark saw there was could be some trouble with Ndi as he and Cochran, so he barreled right into his own guy Cochran and certainly Goes without saying no intent as he's back to his feet. Corner kick here. Wow, this is a huge moment. These set pieces. Bardal takes as a spill, a bounce, a deflection, whatever. And will be tied at two. So, Caper Faithful Quiet, UQTR. Fans on the edge of their seat. They put it right back in. And but in DI is, is offside. Great clearing header by Spaziri. And Spaziri has stepped up, maybe one of his best performances of the season that I've seen. I've seen all the, in person, all the home matches of these capers. Spaziri, again, he hasn't been that he's been dazzling offensively or been on the scoreboard, but there's much more to it than that. And he's played a disciplined, smart, good defensive game here for a short staff caper side as they try to knock out the RSEQ champs. So if they can hang on here, that means the OUA champs are out. The RSCQ champs would be out, along with the AUS. Oh, and oh. Bale whistled it just wide. And also, if the Capers win this one, it, the lower seed would have won each match so far. But still a ways to go. Sear who's been strong. Asuya. Gamarui. Laplante. Good work there by Matic. The road to the Canada Life Vanier Cup continues next Saturday with the 2023 Mitchell Bowl as the Canada West champions host the AUS champs beginning at 3 p.m. Eastern time, 12 p.m. Pacific on CBC Gem and CBC Sports.ca. Free kick. Big chance here for UQTR. Clark will have to be sharp. Hurdle directing traffic. Clark hugging that left goal post. We're in the 88th minute. Another thriller it's turned out to be. Another one goal battle. Clark, oh, ooh, and that was labeled by Lemmy. Almost had his second to Matt Shepard. Lemmy. Who has the penalty kick goal for UQTR and that just sailed just wide over Clark. Up into the 89th minute. Capers two. Patriot one. For a chance to play in a national semifinal, and that's going to be NDI. The freshman. What a performance he's had off the bench. Been in the mix from the get go. 
He yes. has had a couple of chances to score. Yeah, he's, he's been unlucky not to score. Clark now will take his time. We'll keep an eye on how much stoppage time we're looking at here at Ness Timmins Field. Feeling of uh, a little bit of angst in the crowd. I think here late they trying to will their team home on the big throw in. And D.I. And he's going to get that call. Four minutes of stoppage time here. It looked like the caper player writhing in pain after he got tangled up at Clark. And Clark needs to get away from that. Not the time to settle any sort of scores right. with D.I. As it's Beecher, I believe, that went down. But he is back to his feet. But he was momentarily there. He was writhing in pain after the getting tangled up with D.I. Now Clark. Again, four minutes tacked on here. The drumming circle in the crowd. The drummers are getting loud again here. Trying to help their capers bring it home. But a chance here, LaPlante and Clark. D.I. was there once again. Fortune giving encouragement to his mate. Clark. He'll boom it up the field. You want it in that end if you're a caper fan. Hard for UQTR to score from there. Capers, good anticipation there by Fortune, who's had a whale of a match. Again, the Capers without three of their starters out due to red cards from the AUS Finals. A. Kuna, a first team All Canadian, along with Max Peatgrass, an AUS All Star, and Elijah Lee. Beecher, oh, here's an opportunity shot. They score! Abbasi. A huge breakdown there by the Capers late. Oh, my. And the Patriots have tied it. Chipped by Beecher. How Abbasi got all alone. One defender back and Beecher with the team up a goal. And we have... Go ahead, Bert. No, no, I was just going to say, that's what you want from your second team, all Canadian. At the death. And the Capers, one defender back with the Patriot pressing. And we're tied at two. Patriot go to their bench. Raposo is back. Jean-Gabriel Waugh, the freshman was in there. Patriot, we said they wouldn't quit the RSEQ champs. Quick huddle for both teams. And an injury there for the La Charité. Ben Fortune brought his group together there. But what a big breakdown there by the Capers late. And when Lim went off, that was... It was certainly that big. Was right Lim back. was a, sta a stabilizer. But to have one defender back at that juncture of the match, Beecher was alone. And making no mistake was Abbasi. See, very little time left here. Capers trying to get one more push. 
two fifty minutes overtime halves looming large here. And we've played four minutes. I might get the Nicholson. The, the 30 seconds. That might be it right there. No referee looked at his watch. One more shot here at least. Patriot will get the free kick. Late in this one. And that's it. That will do it. So a second half comeback by UQTR. A penalty kick goal by Vincent Lamy. And the game tire in the final. I would say if there was a minute left, there wasn't much more. Madi Abbasi. The initial play there by Bertrand to get it to him. And Abbasi makes no mistake by Clark. Two apiece. Two 15 minute halves. No doubt we'll see the return of Shepard. A whole different, even with the yellow card, a whole different ball game now. Two to two. Yes, and, and we'll see about Lynn as well. It, it looked perhaps like cramp and sometimes just a, a few minutes on the sideline can cure that ill. He would be, he would be a huge boost. Both players would be uh, an equal boost, I, I, would, I would say. Shepard for the goal scoring and for shoring up the defense. Lynn, the, the captain for the evening. Full marks the UQTR. Here in a very partisan environment, obviously, against the host team. You fall behind two to nothing at the half. Mm -hmm. But they never gave up the battle. No. And Pressed they... and earned themselves the penalty kick that Lamy made no mistake mm -hmm. on. And then here late, took advantage of the breakdown. You still have to score at Abbasi. And he did so, the freshman. So freshmen have been at the forefront here for the Patriot. Great ball. Settled and scored. So both teams huddled up now for this brief break before the start of the 250 minute halves again. Just a reminder, we had one go to Overtime here, our first quarter final that ended up going to penalty kicks with the wing going to the Caravan de Montreal, two to one over the OUA champion, Carlton Ravens. That was our first quarter final, our second quarter final, UBC, with the victory over St. FX. And this is our third one. And the nightcap tonight will be the Battle of the Cats. The Mount Royal Cougars and the York Lions. But first things first, we have a ways to go now in this one is keeper Matthew Lasher Lasherite, pardon me. Couldn't get that one out momentarily. As he has a pep talk for his side. Daniel Clark. Both keepers, no chance on any of the goals they surrendered. Goal scorer goals. There you see La Charité. Almost looks caper-esque in his green yes. and orange. And with the green trim on the, or the orange trim on the numbers, he, he could slot right in as needed. So he's going to his side of the pitch for this first 15 minutes. Again, the capers two to nothing at half. Owen Shepard with a pair here in the second half. Capers had a couple of chances to put a stranglehold on it, but couldn't do so. And then again, the Lamy penalty kick and the late goal by Madi Abbasi. And that's where we stand at two apiece at the Capers once again to remind you in their white with orange trim. UQTR in their black with white trim. 
underway here. And again, to remind you, not sudden death. So we're going 30 more minutes and probably a little more regardless. And if nothing solved then as we had to this morning, penalty kicks here at Neff Timmons Field, but we're a ways from that. Stepping up, good defensive play there and falling back to his feet was Spaziri, who's had a strong match for Dino Morley Spaziri. And we're gonna have a throw in as Spaziri knocked it away there from Boavin. Capers now. Shepard is back out there for the Capers. He's up front with Nicholson. A minute into our first 15 minute overtime half. Whiffing on that one, but the defender behind able to pick it up with Sear. Room now for Laplante. Gets it down to Abbasi, the hero at this point for UQTR. Chance here now, Laplante. Easy play there for Clark or Bertrand, pardon me, with the cross. Up after it, Shepard, Nicholson, who's been strong since he's checked in the second half. Number 10 there, you see him. Started to play a little more, he was limited in his first season in Caper Orange. North Petherton in the United Kingdom. Battles there, and he's going to get the call against Abbasi. Yes. View of Kilbride, but I think it was Nicholson yeah, I that picked up the foul. It was Nicholson, I believe. And I think that's his second foul. So Lamy, who had the penalty kick going, he almost tied it. Not long before Abbasi did with a free kick that just zipped wide of the high and wide of the left post underneath the crossbar. Lamy. Stepping over it. LeBlanc, Lamy. Top of the box. Fortune, the first header. Capers now. Shepard. He's able to get a bit of a rest, so maybe he has a couple of runs left in him here. He'd love to get that hat trick goal now for his team. 2 2 tie. Nicholson in a battle. One by Suyon. Crossed, trickled, but didn't get the Shepherd, and a Patria player is down. Will be a caper throw in, but referee will check on the UQTR player. It's good defending by number five, Asuyat, especially in extra time. You, you've you've been you've been running for over 90 minutes. You're, you're tired, and when you're tired, you make those you you can make those mental mistakes. And that was, that was definitely not the case in that instance. The junior defender for Quebec. Nicholson gets free, but he has no one there. More good work by Nicholson. Banged forward by Laplante. Abbasi. He and D.I., the two freshmen, have been dynamic, especially in the second half. Helping lead this Patriot rally. Capers now. Kilbride. Lofts one. Trying to find Nicholson. 
Nicholson gets Gamarui to use his keeper and leads to a UQTR turnover. So no real momentum either way off that end of the game into our first extra 15 here. Owens is unable to plant, frustrated with himself. Sophomore, so a lot of youngsters, big contributors in this one for the Patria. Again, they're no stranger to tense finishes. They rallied to win the RSEQ championship against the Caravan. And it's a case now of players drawing, trying to draw fouls. Goldstein with that foul and back to his feet is LaPlante. Now Patriot. Bertrand. Oh, Abbasi. Not what he wanted there. Trying to get it in DI. Capers now. 2-2 two, two tie, our first 15 minute overtime half. There's two of them. Good defensive play as Shepard tried to get in alone. Ball ball, LaPlante again grabbing at the left ankle as he went head over heels. Back the other way now, Bertrand keeps it on the deck. LaPlante is still down. Fortune tried to feather it through for Shepard. Sliding play there. Couple players down. Now we got one for each side. And I don't know if it was for the caper player, it was Rugburn more than anything for Spaziri, who made the sliding play. And it's LaPlante calling out the medical staff for Spaziri. LaPlante is still down. He's getting some attention. There you see the anxious now. Caper crowd. They were pretty confident they had this one put away late, but the Patriot came back to tie it in the final minute. And that was in really the final minute, not the final minute of our 90 minutes, but in stoppage time. As La Charité. I doubt those are words of encouragement they're, they're shouting at him as well. So again, a trip to a national semifinal, plenty to say the least on the line here. And Trois-Rivière trying to be the first higher seed to win their match thus far as there's LaPlante heading off gingerly. I don't think on that play, I think it was more his landing than because he didn't get clipped by the caper player who got the ball. Mm -hmm. And now on the other side, Spaziri is back to his field. No, doesn't look too steady yet as he's stretching out here. Cochran with the throw in. Nicholson. Shepard now turning from the defender. Cochran. Step up there by Hurdle. Kilbride. Goldstein. Kilbride. Shepard up. Got a piece of it. Patriot player down. Cochran. Right back in, but then batted out. Cochran now. Shielding his defender. Kilbride. 
Top of the box, still loose. Nicholson trying to, the Hail Mary bicycle kick. And it'll end up back in possession of the Patriot. There's the hero of the moment for you, QTR, Madi Abbasi. From Morial. La Charité. Almost 11 minutes into this first 15. Drawing that call was fortune as he got tangled up with Lamy. Lamy, one of the heroes, one of the veterans on this team. A lot of first and second years on the roster for the Patriot. Cochran into the 18 yard box, but Gamarui got it away. Laplante now. Beecher trying to pin him in the corner. Causes the cough up. Nicholson tried to knife it through for Shepard. Beecher so. running on fumes at this point, as uh, I'm sure there are, are many players are. And you have players that, whether they haven't much throughout the year or haven't in a while, played heavy minutes. Again, for a caper side, without definitely two big minute players in Pete Grass. Oh, and a saving play there as Shepard wanted a call, but no. it was all ball by Gamarui. Shepard frustration more than anything, but Gamarui saved the chance there, and now it will be a corner kick. La Charité on his line, protecting both posts, the Patriot. Set piece, Cochran, far post, it's there. Oh, and the capers. Oh. Nicholson wants it to be another corner. But nothing, and we'll see what we could pick up from a replay here. Nicholson got a head on it, and then it was Spaziri, but he was at a real estate and banged it into the side of the net. And La, La Charité got the, did get a touch on that, but not, not the last one. Nicholson, who's been a threat. He's done everything he could do to try to regain the caper lead here. Still in there, but banged away. The counterattack, Fortune, came swooping in. He did indeed. And barreled in the NDI. Laplante curls it. Taking over there, Abbasi. Abbasi with the left foot. Easy pickings there for Clark. Abbasi maybe looking for a spill or something of that nature as well. Up to about the 14 minute mark here in our first half of overtime. Still 2-2. Two, two. The Shepherd have one more in his cap. Spaziri. Jacob Spaziri. He's been one of the bright lights for Dino Morley here. Spaziri. Lays it off nicely. The cross. But again, no one on that far post for the Capers. Oh. <laughs> and paying the price there will get the It must have was Goldstein. Goldstein yes. Looks like he's okay. But that was a good look for the Patriot back four. They didn't rush to the ball. They knew they knew there was time. Let it bounce. And the end result, a goal kick. Okay. 
Let me. Two minutes of added time. D.I. Two minutes tacked onto this first overtime half. More great work there by Spaziri. Lemmy finds Raposo. A goal here would be tremendous boost for either side, and it's going to be a corner kick. So Bertrand banged it off a caper. We talked about it throughout the almost three quarter finals, Bert, how whether it's you gotta defend every inch and you gotta be it only takes a second of drop concentration oh. as it just there. trickled off in DI. Oh. He's done three. everything but score. Yes. It's gonna say you have to cover every inch for every moment, and that's what happened to the Capers late. A defensive breakdown. Oh, oh. and D.I. Looked like it, it, did it hit the post? It looked like it just grazed it. it might have, they might have oh. to put some paint on it. Might have taken a little off there. Wow, and D.I. Abasi, the two freshmen, have more and more throughout this match there to exert their Will on the Capers back line. And that's gonna trickle out. And that's the whistle, I believe, for our first 15 minutes. And it is, so still knotted at two bars. Both teams had probably more, so well, both had some wouldn't say uh, golden chances, but certainly chances to finish it, or at least, I shouldn't say finish it, but take the lead. Yes. And none better than that last one by Ndi that he got his left foot on it and it just. Yeah, it, I mean he. Trickled wide by he, not even inches. No, and the, the, he had one earlier where he, he put a top, cor top corner Clark got gloves to it and then it went uh, post it, post and out. And he would say to himself, I'll, I'll score on that next time. And then he had another great chance just now. And hard to know what, he, what he'd want to do different there. Just, just unlucky. And if you're a striker, you have a short memory and you, and you just go again. And if you, uh, if you had to, to put a bet on who, who might pot one, but it's even like near the top you know, of that it's, list. It's like so, so many other sports. Like in hockey, you get all these quality chances and come up empty, and then one might go in off your butt or yeah. off your skate or off your. And that may happen for NDI. Yes. Could be just a bouncing, you know, a deflection, something. But he and Abasi, more and more, as we saw in the second half, have really started to, again, have. Mm -hmm put pressure on that back end of the capers. And of course we had that late breakdown where Beecher was left alone against three, essentially three Patriot. And it ended up with Abasi tying it in the final seconds, it's safe to say. And now starting their second 15 minute overtime. And just a reminder, it isn't sudden death. And if nothing's solved after this 15, We'll be going to penalty kicks. Capers now, first offensive 4A. Nicholson. Defend it well there, Nicholson. Great work there by Gamarui. But it will be a corner. These set pieces at this point, ever so dangerous. Dangerous anytime, but Especially so right now. And one of those things that doesn't take a, a, a scintillating strike from the top of the box. It could be just a deflection, a bounce, a loose ball like this that is everywhere. And trying to poke it home, not sure. I think it was Nicholson was able to get a piece of it. It was Cochran on the corner. 
It hit Bayo there, I think, and there was Nicholson. Yes. Oh, and he just knifed it wide on the short side. Patriot now, their first look offensively. Great feet there by Lalonde. Lays it back. UQTR. Looking to send the sad home crowd here. Send them home sad, I should say. And it'll be a corner for the Patriot. Good play there by Boyevan. Yes, he's he's been intelligent with his play. Wait, sometimes you'll need to wait for the opportunity to develop and uh, he's very good at uh, sensing when to do what. Banged out. Capers trying to get in the counter attack, but Nicholson though, great anticipation, trying to barrel through her the Capers. And Cochran disappointed there. Head down, Shepard up pressing. Trying to force the issue. Nicholson, Shepard heading towards the goal. Nicholson, oh, and he lost it. And to your, to your point of a shot going in off, the, off your knee or your butt, it's also a case of you, you, you sense you've had your chances. And then you might miss a golden one and the heart sinks and then the other team comes back and pots one. So very important for both teams to stay as alert as possible. And it was a great, great look for the Patriot out there. Both, every player had the hand up, leave it, just leave it, leave it. No sense of panic. Patriot now. Trying to get it, bring it out of their own zone. Good work there again by Abasi. Ian and DI. Two first year strikers. Very good by Beecher. Good play there by Maddock. Yes. Who come in for the injured Rain Lynn who hasn't come back. Oh, great effort there. Try to keep it in by Cochran, but it had trickled out. So a throw in here for UQTR. About four minutes into our second half of overtime. Maddock, another good play defensively. Feathered in. Good by Gamarui. It's loose, top of the box, trying to barge his way out his Beecher. And this is where Shepard can be dangerous, but good work there by Sear to get in his way. Good work to come back there by Abasi in the midfield, along with Ndi to get possession back. Gamarui. Patriot. Clark and entanglement yes. there. Beecher got tied up with Lalonde. Clark now. Five minutes in for our second 15 minute overtime half. No one has scored in the extra sessions. Capers led two to nothing at halftime, but UQTR rallied. Another good work there by Spaziri. Maddock heads it forward. Bell. Shepard got a head on it. La Charité. Slings it forward. Patriot now. Looking to get to the old fence here late. Lalonde. Lost it. 
Capers now. Trying to get to the offense here. A goal here at this point for either side, although we saw how late UQTR tied it, but still a goal at this point for either side would loom large. I don't think either team will be looking to wait till the last two minutes. Gathered there by Bertrand. Junior from Gatineau, one of the veterans stabilizers here for UQTR. Another good defensive play, I believe it was against Paziri. And as I mentioned, the best, at least here at home, best match I've seen Spaziri play all season. And it's come at the biggest time as Cochran came up gingerly and now Bertrand with the throw in, puts it deep. Boyavin, Boyavin, left foot's it. Fortune, that was dangerous. See if the secondary put it back in. It is there, Fortune. Tough play there against Laplante. Now, this is where Shepard can be dangerous. He's strong as well as fast. But he couldn't get wriggle free with it. Now I tell you, I don't think Sears gonna be too far from Owen Shepard the rest of the way. Nicholson. Nicholson gets free. And Nicholson just, he's yeah. maybe like in DI with UQTR, neither one of them have been able to put one home, but they've had chances. Admit, miss or not, at the edge of the 18, if, if you're Nicholson, Shepard, Lamy, you're, you're taking that shot. Oh, battle here, Beecher. And it's going to be a corner. Yes. Capers are saying it's off Lalonde. So a big chance here for UQTR. The partisan caper crowd in that corner does not agree, but it's not their decision. So now QQTR, can they finish the comeback? And to not finish the comeback, but make it even more of a story and take the lead here in overtime. Clark sizing things up. Hartle on the near post. Patriot, here they come. Not what they probably wanted on the low liner to the front, but who's man Chan? Couldn't find Cochran. Some of these guys have put a lot of Mali Jabasi. And wow. Did he ever come close to having another chance? Great ball. Nicholson, but it's too far from Shepard. Some of these guys that have gone wire to wire must be feeling it. The intensity of these national championship matches. The highs and lows emotionally all draining. Now Cochran. Gets back to his feet, keeps possession, Cochran. And he'll finally get the Draws call the against foul. Lalonde. And he's looking for that for about 15 yards. And he's a guy who's gone wire to wire, and I think yes. he's starting to feel it in terms of cramping here. Yes, this is this is the second time. Uh, in I I'm not I don't think it was in, in the second half of extra time, but toward the end of the, the first half. So if required you're attention. Just join us, sorry Bar, if you're expecting to see our fourth quarter final, we're still in our third one. Capers and UQTR in the second of two 15 minute overtime halves. If you're just joining us, the Capers led two to nothing at half on a pair of goals by 
All Canadian Owen Shepard. But UQTR, the RSEQ champs, rallied. Two second half goals, one late by Madi Abasi to tie it. No one scored here in our two overtime halves thus far. So now, penalty kicks looming. Clark, free kick, he'll boom it into the 18 yard box. First to touch at Bertrand. Shepard now, Shepard battling Lalonde. Lalonde with great work. It will be a throw in, but I think that at that point he'll take that and tumbling down was Spaziri as he slipped. Or actually was Maddox, pardon me, slipped on the, probably what's a slick track around the field now. With the dam later in the evening, the dampness starts to set in at this time of year. But the rain has held off all day. Just on the beginning of our first match. And again, this time of year in Cape Breton, you can expect a little bit of everything, but so we'll take this first day, I think, if you're the players. Patriot now up, approaching the 28 minute mark. So and we'll keep an eye on any stoppage time on this second half. Bertrand, he's been dynamic throughout. One of the ones that's gone wire to wire. Cochran, maybe Shepard has one more burst left in him because when it was two to one late, he has a yellow card. Dino Mar Morley, pardon me, brought him to the bench. So he did get a little rest. Cochran. Abasi. Abasi. That left foot is why we're in overtime. Capers now. Does the home side have some late magic? And D.I. We haven't seen any subject in terms of strategic ones as far as penalty kicks. So maybe both sides have on who they're going to take to that dance if we have to go there. And D.I. Clark. But again, a good idea if there's a spill there. Lalonde's waiting for it. We actually have... A goal score. Off the hop. Imminently returning. Deflection. So a corner kick. Could this be the late magic in overtime for the Capers? That UQTR garnered in regulation. You can see. Pretty much everyone hands on the hips. Trying to get a little breath of air when they can. It'll be Lalonde. He looks shattered. Lalonde to the bench. Great shift. One minute of added time. In extra time. Lamy back after a rest. And no doubt he's back on. You're going to want him to be one of your shooters if we go to penalty kicks. Cochran curls it in, headed away. And Lamy softly forward. Oh, wow, beautiful work here. Boyavan, oh, tried to feather it through. Had the right idea. Yes. But wow, what a great ball there from the own end by the Patriot. Could have easily just boomed it out, but. And that's it, we're headed to penalty kicks, Bart. 
the second of our quarterfinals that have gone to this extreme. First one came this morning, seven shooters it took for Le Caravan de Montreal to defeat the Carlton Ravens. And now we're gonna have the same here, the Capers and Patriot, a chance to go to a national semifinal, the loser to the consolation round. So everything on the line here to say the least. And we'll see the, of course, pressure on the shooters and certainly the keepers, Clark and La Charité. The coin flip to see, of course, who gets the choice of the shoot first or last. We talked about that this morning, Bart, and you mentioned you'd be inclined to take first shot and put the pressure on the other team. Yes, it's uh, it's been a, an exhilarating 120 minutes of play. Great fortitude by Les Patriotes, and I, even even when they were down two nil, they they were still calm, and it was as if they had said to themselves, "Well, it's not like we haven't been here before," and. It's interesting. They behaved accordingly. Sorry, Barry. I think there's a debate here. I, I think Ben Fortune's being told about. Uh, I think he'd love to have the shooting be take place on this end of the field, and I think I think our referee is <laughs> basically saying, "No way, we're going to this end." Yes. Um, to kind of keep the, and that's what Ben Fortune see to his bench is. He say about I don't know if he thinks there should be a choice in terms of. And they're telling the the <laughs> the, uh, the home faithful just to make their way down the other end. I don't know how many of them could walk the the straight line down. We'll they might a, not be staying in their lane if they we'll if they had a, to run down. We'll have a 400 meter sprint to, <laughs> along the track here to get. And some of them are making their way to the other end. So again, the keepers for this one, <laughs> Daniel Clark for the capers. And Matthew Le Charité from Boucherville, Quebec, as they're getting their instruction. So I didn't even see who, I think the capers had won the toss, but I'm not quite sure. I was more kind of uh, enthralled with the, I knew what fortune was because I could see his reaction. He kept gesturing towards that end of the field. And some of the crowd is making their way down there as the capers. And Daniel Clark was encouraging them to get there to help, whether it's distract the keeper for the, the charité or the shooters. And certainly they full marks as long as they don't interfere with the play of course to become abusive as far as cheering that that's fair game and certainly trying to take advantage of and that's what they're saying about you can't be on the grid have to be at least on the track and I don't think they're even going to let them get behind no. the net which understandably so but there are on the side as long as they stay within a reasonable distance the first shooter is going to be the second team AUS all-star Jason Hartle the freshman from Carlton Place Ontario going up against the Charité the left footer and he scores so the capers get the jump the rookie we might be a little early for the pyrotechnics as the Capers take the one goal lead, now it's Lamy. He had the penalty kick goal to make it two to one in the second half. So Lamy, Clark, take two. Just waiting for the referee's whistle. Crowd making noise. Lamy. 
Shot. Oh, and Clark makes a sensational stop as he points to the home crowd. Clark dove to his left. You'll see it from, or right, pardon me, you'll see it from his vantage point. Let me bested him in regulation, but not this time. And a great save by the first team. All UA US keeper. Now the capers can really put a stranglehold on this penalty kick battle. It's going to be Nicholson. Nicholson has been a presence since he came off the bench, was unlucky throughout. Maybe this is where he finally gets that goal. He gives a little wink to our referee. Nico Chikansky, so he's not nervous. At least he doesn't look at Nicholson to make it two to nothing for the Capers. And again, tip the scale their way a little bit here. Hartle scored first for the Capers. Lemmy, the save by Clark, and now a chance to make it two to nothing for Nicholson. Nicholson shot, score, made it look easy. And the Capers have the edge two to nothing as the crowd and Nicholson encouraging them. Roller coaster of emotions here. The Charité, he guessed right, but just too much on it. He tried to get the right hand back to get a piece of it. That's a, a great finish. Especially when you put it about four or five feet in the air, you have to be you have to be a confident, informed player to do that, and Nicholson is is certainly that. Boyavan, who had great minutes off the bench. Boyavan! And he just made no mistake. And he keeps his team within striking distance at two to one. Cleanly beating Clark there. So back to the well for the Capers. Two rounds finished, two goals for the Capers, one for UQTR. Crowd on the edge of its seat here when the Capers shoot, that's for sure. And it's gonna be the AUS leading scorer, Owen Shepard. Two goals in the opening half. And he is deadly on the PKs. See what he does here though. La Charité, hesitation, and then just couldn't have done it better if he walked down with the ball and just rolled it in. I Three. thought you were going to say you couldn't do it any better yourself, Corey. No. <laughs> I need to walk and roll it in. <laughs> I would have to use the psychology that the keeper would think this guy's never going to score and lull him into a false sense of security. Okay. It's all psychological games. Sear now. He really needs one here for the Patriot. The left footer, Sear. Oh, oh, tucked it in. And just by an eyelash by Clark. Three to two, three rounds in the books. Looks like fortune coming in. I'm not quite sure, I just saw the blonde. Yes, it yes, is Ben saw, Fortune. Saw the same thing. Saw the blonde hair waving by as he ran to the spot. Fortune. The veteran, Maidenhand, England. Waiting for the whistle. La Charité. Oh, Fortune. Made it look easy. And it's four to two now. Capers have been perfect on the penalty kicks. As you said, Bert, to elevate it to that height, you know you're confident. And you see when they're tucked up under the bar and stuff, because you certainly cut down on the margin of error, but Fortune confidently ripped it home. Clark, if Clark makes the save here, it's over. LaPlante, Clark, Clark wins it for the Capers. He got the right mid out. And in a penalty kicks, the crowd 
is going bananas here. And that's Timmons Field, the Capers four to two in penalty kicks. Two huge saves by Daniel Clark is the difference. Capers go four to four on penalty kicks. Here's Clark. Turned away LaPlante. And then the crowd and his teammates go, as I said, bananas. Yes, and as, as you've said about Dino Morley, he blocks his man, and Clark proved him right this yeah. evening. A number of huge saves in the, in the penalty shootout to, to stop two. The power is one, you want one, but to get two, and Mohammed NDI, how many stops are on him? He just, he had him vexed. What a roller coaster ride it was for the home crowd as they celebrate with their capers, as they punch their ticket to tomorrow's semifinal round. As I mentioned late in regulation, Bert, that's every lower seed yes. has won. Three conference champions are off to the consolation round. The OUA's Carlton Ravens, the AUS's St. FX X-Men, and the QQTR Patriot. And if we, if we thought the crowd was excited this evening, tomorrow uh, they might need to put a, put a roof on this place, Corey. It's, it, it could very well be mayhem. Act three of this four-act day is in the books. The K. Breton University Capers three, the UQTR Patriot two in penalty kicks as Daniel Clark gets congratulations from Caper alum from the championship team in 2017. And the Capers again move on. They'll play the winner of our nightcap here on quarterfinal Thursday. It's the battle of the Cats, the number eight York Lions, and the number one seed Mount Royal Cougars. Again, the hugs are plenty here in Sydney. Your final score, the Cape Breton University Capers three, the UQTR Patriot two. We're going to step aside for about a half hour or so as we get ready for our nightcap. Again, the Battle of the Cats, the York Lions, and the Mount Royal University Cougars. Don't go too far. You're watching the 2023 Proto Case U Sports Men's Soccer Championship presented by Bell on cbc.ca. It's that moment again, the one you dream of every night. La seule chose qui te préoccupe, c'est la gloire. Le cheminement de la réussite, of pushing yourself further than ever before. But the true glory is in the shadows. Les sacrifices que tu fais, quand toutes les chances sont contre toi, when you can't push one more second, chase the glory. Viseo. Sports on CBC, presented by Les Championnats U-Sport à Radio-Canada. Une présentation du gouvernement du Canada, the government of Canada. Nike, just do it. Fettner. Fox 40, celebrating more than a decade of the Fox 40 U-Sports Coach of the Year Award program. Fier partenaire des prix de l'entraîneur de l'année U-Sport. Vera Byrne, medical supply partner of Varsity Athletics since 1979. Partenaire du sport universitaire depuis 1979. Bear an exclusive supplier of U Sports Championship Rings. Le fournisseur exclusif des bagues du championnat U Sport. By Bell, presenting partner of this U Sports Championship. Fier partenaire de ce championnat U Sport. And by Protocase, 
proud title partner of the 2023 U Sports Men's Soccer Championship. APAR Protocase, fier partenaire en titre du championnat de soccer masculin U Sport de 2023.